I refuse to accept the election outcome of any Democrat who wins any election until free speech is restored online, because the systematic censorship of conservative voices is a form of insidious election meddling. It is election fraud, because elections, of, of course, are based on the whole idea that people can have a public debate, that we could debate candidates, we could debate ideas, we could debate you know, policies and platforms and so on. But with the dominant tech giants, search engines like Google and social media like Twitter, Facebook, and so on, with all of these tech giants now really maliciously, and I believe criminally, censoring conservative voices and pro-Trump voices and pro-America voices, what they're doing is essentially shutting down democracy. They're doing what communist regimes always do when they run the media and they make it illegal for someone to criticize the tyrant in charge. And they shut down all the voices that they don't want to, to be able to, to say anything, any form of dissent against the government. In many countries, those people just disappear. They disappear into dark dungeons and secret prisons and organ harvesting gulags in places like China. And that's, that's probably coming. In America, because if we don't have a First Amendment, we don't have democracy. We don't have a republic, technically. We don't have a free society. We don't have a legitimate election process without free speech. So I have a, a saying on this that I've come up with. Maybe I'll come up with one better, but for now, it's no speech, no consent. We do not consent to be governed by Democrats who are elected through fraud that stems from the censorship of conservative voices. We do not consent. You know, the government is supposed to be of the people, by the people, and for the people. Government is an extension of the people. The people grant power to the government to carry out certain tasks, like defending the borders, which even Democrats refuse to do today, and 12 Republicans in the Senate also refuse to do. But government is, in essence, delegated certain powers by the people. You know, the power to coin money, for example, which uh, not coincidentally, the government has delegated that to the Federal Reserve, a bunch of globalist private banksters who now control the U.S. money supply. But that's, uh, that's a whole different podcast. But the government is, it only has power when it's granted power by the people. And so if we, the people, withhold consent from the, the government representatives who are fraudulently elected in upcoming elections stemming from censorship, then uh, we have a shot at taking our country back. You know, we just, I mean, you can just join me in this effort. You can just join me in saying, no speech, no consent. You know, hashtag no speech, no consent. You don't give us our speech. If you don't allow us to speak, then we don't consent to your right to rule. It's as simple as that. We don't have the right to speak. You don't have the right to rule or to govern, you could say. So knowing this and moving forward now into the 2020 election, it's not hard to see that the Democrats are going to do everything in their power to steal that election. They will commit massive voter fraud. They will commit every crime imaginable. They will censor every voice they want, and they will deny the censorship. They, they'll deny that they're doing it. They'll just lie flat out and say, we're not censoring conservatives while they are censoring conservatives. That's how dishonest they are. That's why I've said, you know, the Trump administration needs to indict, arrest, and criminally prosecute people like Jack Dorsey of Twitter, who is running a criminal racketeering operation in blatant violation of the RICO Act. This is the new organized mob. This is the mafia, the tech techno-mafia or techno-fascists. And they are trying to destroy this nation. and They're doing a damn good job of it. What they are doing, in my view, is, is criminal and it needs to be stopped. The Trump administration has the power to do it. But will he do it? I mean, these, these powerful tech companies are, are so dominant in their control over information and knowledge now. And they censor everything that they don't want you to, to hear or see or watch. Uh, Facebook just censored us for seven days, the Natural News Channel. 
we can't post there for seven days because we posted a, an educational graphic about fluoride. So because we want to warn people about the dangers of fluoride, we are banned for seven days. Now, it just goes to show you that the censorship is not just on politics. It's also about anything that the globalist establishment doesn't want you to know about. So we're being censored on vaccines, fluoride, GMOs, pesticides, abortion, geoengineering, any kind of a topic that they don't want you to know about. We're now being censored. It's incredible. And that's, you know, these are blatant violations of the First Amendment protections of American citizens, the protections on which this country has prospered for over 240 years. And now, now we we come upon this time where the tech companies want to destroy the very pillars, the very foundation of our republic. And they only allow the voices that they want to be able to speak. And they silence everyone else. And they do it without any transparency. There is no due process. There is no justification given. You don't have any means to, to challenge the banning decision. You can be defamed. You can be deplatformed. You can be economically sabotaged or even destroyed by what these tech giants are doing. And Twitter has banned us. YouTube has banned us. Google has shadow banned us. Facebook has shadow banned us and now banned us again for seven days. And the examples keep going. Pinterest shut down our account because we were posting on vaccines. It just goes on and on. These actions by these tech giants are criminal conspiracies against America, against the First Amendment. They are trying to steal this nation by shutting down speech that they don't like. And they are selling out this country to the corporate interests, to the, the monstrosities of corporate America that push poisons like pharmaceuticals and psychiatric drugs and fluoride and toxic vaccine ingredients onto our children. The tech giants have become the great evil of our time. And I want to remind people, when the Civil War begins, make sure that you know where the local Twitter building is. Because, as I've said before, you need to peacefully occupy and dismantle these tech giants when the Civil War begins. You need to know where Facebook is located, where Google is located. And when it all breaks loose, when it all hits the fan, one of the first things that true Americans need to do is take control over these tech giants and restore freedom of speech to real Americans. Note that I'm not suggesting that, that patriots do anything unethical or immoral or illegal. In fact, we demand to restore the legal protections, the First Amendment protections of the American people. And in order to do that, you're going to have to, you're going to, have to occupy and control these tech giants. You need to know where they are. You need to know how to get in. You need to know where the servers are hosted. You need to know who controls the programming because they are going to have to be uh, recruited to restore freedom of speech. And if it doesn't happen in a civil war, it may happen by the Department of Justice, it may happen under the Trump administration, it may happen through lawsuits. There are many ways that it can happen. But if none of those work, the last resort is in the Civil War to, to go, go right that wrong, to go restore speech and liberty to all Americans. And keep reading my websites, naturalnews.com, newstarget.com. I'll keep bringing you this information as much as I can. This is Mike Adams, the Health Ranger here. My podcasts are available at healthrangerreport.com. Thank you for watching Counterthink. I want to remind you that my work is supported by the Health Ranger Store. HealthRangerStore.com, we are the only online retailer of foods, superfoods, and nutritional supplements that now conducts glyphosate testing in an ISO accredited laboratory that we own, that I run. We test our products for glyphosate and certify them to be glyphosate tested. You can see the icons on our website. If you want clean food, check out HealthRangerStore.com. Thank you for watching. 
If you want to support our mission, visit us at healthrangerstore.com for the world's largest selection of lab-verified superfood and nutritional products for healthy living. It's at healthrangerstore.com. <laughs>